Technology Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you upgrade the BIOS version on a computer that has BitLocker enabled. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment and learning purposes only. Don't do this on a real computer because you are going to lose access to your information and the operating system. I'm just doing this because I want you to see what happens when you do it in the in the wrong way i have done a video in the past in which i show the correct steps to upgrade the bios version on a computer with bitlocker enabled okay so we are going to start this is a windows 10 machine can be windows 11 windows 7 windows 8 a laptop the concept is the same so the first thing we are going to do is go to this pc and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what i do now this is my c partition you may have more and you can see the lock icon that means it's encrypted Okay, again, you can you can have more partitions. I only have one for Windows. Next to it is a thumb drive. I'm going to explain it in a few more seconds. Another way to check if your hard drive, your partitions are encrypted is if you open a CMD. So you go over here, you type CMD, you open it as an admin, and you can type this command. Manage BDE status. You press enter, and it's going to give you some information. You might have more partitions, of course. In my case, volume seed, where Windows is installed, the size 120 gigabytes can be more. The BitLocker version 2.0, you may have 1.2. Conversion status, only the space that is being utilized is going to be encrypted. Percentage encrypted, 100%. Encryption method AES 128, you might have a different one. The protection status on, lock status unlocked. So if, if you scroll down, you're going to see more partition. In, in my case, this is my thumb drive. Now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. So this is the computer we're using. The Optiplex 3040 can be any other brand. And this is the USB that is not encrypted. So let's go back to the screen. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. We're going to close a few things. This is my cheat sheet over here. And we're going to go to documents. So this is my BitLocker recovery for this machine. Okay, as you can see, recovery key, all that long number. Uh, I have done a video in the past on which I show how to generate and save it in a secure location. So if you're interested, you can click on the top right of this screen or in the video description below for that video. But we are going to need this key. Okay, if you don't have this key and you are kicked out of Windows because of BitLocker, you won't be able to lock back in. All right, so I'm going to close this. We're going to use it in a few more seconds. From here, we're going to go to my bootable, well, it's a bootable thumb drive over here. And you have, you can see a few files. And at the bottom, it says Optiplex 301.19.1. So this is the actual upgrade for the BIOS, okay? The version is 119.1. So we're going to see using the command system info if, what version this computer has. So we scroll up and we have version 110.1 that came out in 2019. So we have a new version. Now the bootable USB flash drive is ready. We have the update in the USB. And now we have to reboot the computer. While it's restarting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really, really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. Now I'm going to start pressing F12 to access this menu. And from here, I have to choose BIOS flash update over there. So I press enter here and it's going to take me to this screen. So the revision is 110.1. That's the version that we have. So we have to go over there. We click on it and this is the USB flash drive. So as you, uh, as you remember, this is the update 119.1.exe. That so I'm going to press OK. And now, as you can see, it's going to give us an overview. The, that's the new version 119.1, Optiplex 3040, and the below is the revision 110.1. So begin flash update. You can read all that, but it says, hey, don't shut down your computer. Make sure it's connected to a re reliable source of power. Otherwise, it might not work anymore. So we, uh, we click yes. And updating your firmware, do not power down the system. So as you can see, this is the computer, the Optiplex 3040. That's the USB flash drive where the update is. And this process takes five minutes. So of course, the video is sped up over here. So you don't have to wait all the real time. As you can see, it's going, uh, it's going up pretty fast. So again, it takes sometimes in some models, it's going to reboot a few times. So firmware update successful, rebooting your system. So after that, you don't do anything here. You just wait, the Dell logo over here. It's going to take a few more seconds. And this is the screen I wanted to show you. BitLocker recovery. Enter the recovery key for this drive. 
Okay, so this is uh, in this part we have to type the recovery key I show you in a text document a few seconds ago. If you don't have it, you can reboot this computer, you can take the hard drive to another computer and try to open it from there. You won't be able to do it because the recovery key is what's needed since uh, the system detects that there has been a change where we have upgraded the BIOS version. It won't allow you to have access to the information unless you type the recovery key. Okay? So what I'm going to do here, of course, is I'm going to type the recovery key that I showed you a few seconds ago, which corresponds to this hard drive, to this machine. And the video is sped up here, so you don't have to wait all the time. So if you type it wrong, of course, it's not going to work. Once you are ready, you press enter, you're going to see the Dell, HP, Lenovo logo. And after a few seconds, you will be able to see the login screen. So you type your password, if there is one and you will be back in Windows. So we're going to go to this PC. You can see the same lock. That means it's still encrypted. Nothing has changed. The hard, hard drive size, 120 gigabytes, is the same. So this is what happens when you upgrade the BIOS version on a computer that has BitLocker on it and you don't disable it first. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.